Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to tell you all about the lock pop from Clemis & Clemis. It's a handy tool to help you prepare your locks for the next step. Welcome all you happy fiber artists. I am so excited to tell you this story that happened about how I got the lock pop. And in fact, I was thinking about you all. I had spent a couple of days working with a couple different locks. I couldn't figure out a preparation that I really was enjoying the outcome of. And I don't know, I just thought, well, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. And I was actually crocheting right here on the couch and kind of contemplating it in the back of my mind. And then I saw my phone light up with an email. And when I opened it, it said, here's a solution for preparing your locks with the lock pop from Clemis and Clemis. And it took one button to see the demonstration on how they use it and one more button to buy it. And that's as quick as that went. And I thought, oh, the fiber gods were working with me today. So that was really cool. I ordered it right there and then. It came and I started using it and working with it. And it opened up those tease water locks so that I could run it through the drum carter a whole lot easier than just pulling them apart. And the other fiber that I was having trouble with was this Jacob. I just couldn't find the right prep. And so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna work with it with the lock pop and how much this can benefit you if you work with locks. I have the Jacob fiber here and you can see it's kind of tight and just not very easy to work with right now. So this is where the lock pop really is helpful. I just lay it across there. You can use your hand like that. You have your choice of just popping it or pulling. With this Jacob, the pulling is nice. It's kind of stretching it out. It's getting the rough ones, it's getting the rough bits separated. And now after using it on this lock pop, it's apparent to me I am going to comb this. This will be some lovely fluffy fiber, nice and combed. So just these hard bits, I want them either popped open or pulled out. You can see like that. Just helps clean up the fiber real nice before the next step that you're gonna take. It does take time, but I mean, I usually just relax into it, listen to a podcast, make my time useful. All right, so for leftover things behind, this is a brush cleaning comb and it's perfect for this, the drum carter. And I can see the Jacob is leaving some dirt behind. No problem, I'm gonna finish out this bag of Jacob and then I'll clean this up later. The lock pop is perfect for working with these matted tease water locks. I just work through, keep just letting these tongs poke through the fiber and it ends up loosening it up. And I just keep working it until I can get it to free up. I'm preparing this fiber for the drum carter. I'm not sure what I would have done with these locks if I didn't have this. I was really struggling with figuring out how to make these usable. And the lock pop has really helped. Locks are beautiful. It's just they had sat around so long and they had gotten matted. So for tough parts like this, I end up just pulling it or sometimes maybe even just cutting it out. We can just get rid of that. And it's so worth it to make these locks usable again. So you see what a helpful tool that is. I've been using it a lot since I got it. So I hope this helps you with if you were curious about it or didn't even know about it, now you do. And it's a valuable thing for processing your fiber. So I just have a tiny bit for fiber talk today. 
and I'm going to ask you guys for some help. I would like to visit a buffalo ranch in the spring when they're shedding and collect it from the trees or the fences or whatever they rub against. I would love to go out into nature. Well, I'd love to go out to a farm and collect it with my own hands. So if you know anybody that has buffalo and would allow me to do this, please send me an email and I'll put it in the description of the show. Uh, please send me that email with the information and I will start contacting that person. I'm looking for early May uh, when the buffalo hopefully are shedding. So I would love to work that out. So maybe you can help me with that. And won't that be a fun show? So everybody, if you get the lock pop, I hope you are able to use it as much as I do and that it makes your processing fiber go much smoother. Happy fiber prep and thanks for watching.